Hey, what's going on guys? It's Leafy Murdoch here and today with Dr. Stone chapter 111. Oh my gosh, we are um, beginning the anime next week and stay tuned. I know I probably said this last week, but next week or this during this week I will be releasing a video of why you should read it. But here's the thing for me, um, it's for the anime watchers as well. Um, just in case anybody wants to actually what, what read the manga. Um, but I really look forward to the anime. I'll be reviewing it week by week. I know I've already watched it, but I just want to like, just, just like, just review it to see how it is and stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. And to celebrate Doctor Stone being released in the anime next week, they have released a color spread, and my God, it looks very nice and colorful. If only this manga was in a color form, man, it would be so much. By so much more cooler, and they have re um, they've shown the picture for uh, all the uh, like cover for Folium Eleven as well. So yeah, it looks very beautiful. And here we are, looking forward to getting into the uh, like um, beauty contest between the uh, Senku and the girls and Jino. So yeah, there was a do. Let's look forward to the anime. It's only one week away. I let's go into the premiere and anime expo or whatever it's called but yeah there's only one week away let's get started with this review so the first few couple of pages are just um well they they found where they um they're doing the um, beauty contest and they're going in and one of them finds um well one of them seems to be like a runaway sort of person or something like that and he's the the leader, the king, the weird looking dude is picking this woman up by um like a belt thing, like a belt scarf thing, and he's even saying like we're newly wed and like saying what of it and they don't really care though and he's like a they, he doesn't really care or, at all or anything like that. Uh so yeah, this guy is a bit of a uh, meanie, shall we say. So it looks like this is a case of where they have to like um, just show themselves off like a booty pattern um, just to show themselves off so they can you know uh, pass the test so they can go further on and the princess um, gets through pretty easily well she seems like a totally different person according to the other people um, like a um, very uh, muscular woman with uh, flowers coming out of the top of her head um, is coming through as well and she um, yeah, she doesn't pass. But um and then she get um Karuki the Kohaki um gets very nervous and sweats and like doesn't know what to do and just presents herself very uh, like very oddly. She's not very she's very used to being the protector type of the group. She's not really used to being a like sort of like feminine like, you know, um, Tef and type of person and she goes up to touch the dude and one of the guys the guy from last episode she um, he grabs the girls up to her and he realises she's really strong so yes yeah, he's not allowed to be touched she passes nonetheless and the dude basically says like oh, oh well, I actually fancy you myself I'll meet you back in the palace and it looks like it's supposed to be a fight, but it's supposed to be, um, like, in just, uh, I, you know what I mean, like, you know. And also, Jorino, like, earlier was, like, saying, oh, well, if I get picked, they'll notice I'm a man, sort of thing. I don't know why they had to be three of them, so I just, but, yeah, it's probably could be com comedy value or whatever, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, yeah, basically, they, um... Go back, it cuts back to Senki. And what the um, there was an earpiece thing in the um, intro. I did forget, forgot to say that. Sorry, but in the intro, he does hold this ear thing piece up. It just seems like a headphone, or just does, it seems like a normal earring with nice rock around it. But it turns out there is actually a wireless ear, ear earphone. So, yeah, and then um, we get to see Juno, he actually passes. Despite he's trying to his best not to pass because he's scared, he's because he's scared of the predicament he's in, and yeah, he, um, so um, Torino or whatever his name is, um, what's it called it, um, wanna be um, Todoroki chucks it to uh, Kariki, 
and she he tells her to do a key pose and he, she does it and then we find out yes they've officially accomplished their mission so yeah and then that and now they want to um what's call it um go to the skies so they're going to make a drone so yeah they figured out the wireless thing now they need to figure out how to make a drone so they can keep an eye on the uh keep an eye on the surrounding area so that's gonna be fun and gonna be uh very fun to figure out how to make so yeah i really want to like improve my reviews on these i uh, hope you get promised neverland's coming out soon tonight maybe or hopefully yeah definitely and i want and i'll really look forward to the anime next week so yeah make sure you tell your friends about the anime and everything so they can get uh invested in dr stone as much as i am so yeah Anyway guys, that'll be it today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Love you all. Please watch Dr. Stone, everyone. Um, it's only a month, a week away, sorry. See you next time. Peace.